Welcome to Food Nut, Jackie Mazzucato here. And I've got something special for you today. I wanted to celebrate all the fathers in our lives, particularly those that are foodies and into the barbecuing or some of those spicy sauces. So we've put together some great uh, Father's Day hampers for you. They're about 48% off and really good value. But I'm going to do something today using one of those products. But what I'll do is just show you first the products you're going to get. So in the smaller hamper, you've got the two glazes. You've got a Chardonnay glaze, a Pinot Noir glaze, and the barbecue rub. So the barbecue rub just great on a piece of steak, straight on the barbie or under the grill. These glazes can be used for all sorts of things from savoury juice and sauces all the way through to actually desserts. And um, we're going to have some, some good fun with those down the track. Uh, in the larger pack, oh sorry, and you'll also get three bottles of wine. So two bottles of the Tempranillo, which fits with a lot of these sorts of flavours, and one bottle of the El Capo Shiraz. So uh, I think that'll match with a lot of these flavours. In the larger pack, you've got the three bottles of wine. You've also got the Complete Barbecue Rub. That one's got a little bit of chilli in it. And this one, I love the name of this one, Piggy Dust. Uh, so... Uh, no no uh, gold medals there for guessing what you're going to use that one on. You've got the sauces here, or, or bang bang sauce. Traditionally, um, bang bang is a Thai chicken, and that's actually what we're going to make today, a bang bang chicken uh, salad. The Jamaican fire sauce. Now, I tried this one. That one's probably got a little bit too much fire for me. <laughs> and this one's a fig balsamic glaze. So again, salads, marinades, sauces, and through into all of your desserts as well. So we're going to have some great fun with these. I hope your fathers who get these Father's Day packs are going to share some of their recipes as well because we'd love to see them. All right, so let's get started today. I wanted a really nice, quick, fresh, easy lunch today and I wanted to profile the Bang Bang sauce. So I'm going to make my version of a Bang Bang chicken salad. It's a Thai dish, so you're going to have those flavours of the salt, the sweet, the sour and the spice, so we're going to need to balance everything out. Most of our flavour is going to come in the sauce, so it's going to be a nice, quick, easy one. But we are going to poach the three chicken breasts in our fry pan here. So I'll pop those in there. In here, I've got a third of a cup of sake, rice wine, a third of a cup of soy sauce, and about three quarters of a cup of chicken stock. You want enough liquid that you're going to be able to poach your chicken in that liquid. So we'll just stick that in there. I'm going to turn this one during the cook as well. Uh, two cloves of garlic, a tablespoon of ginger, and that's all we're going to use to poach our chicken. So I'll see you in a minute once I've got that ready to shred. Hi. So whilst uh, my chicken was poaching, it took about five to seven minutes. You're going to know when it's done because it's going to be firm to the fork. I did turn it once during that cook process. I predominantly just left the lid on and let that go. But I want to sort of shred this now so that I can stick it through into the salad. But I soaked my noodles just in boiling water whilst I was waiting. And I mean, normally I would chop up the stuff whilst I was waiting for the chicken as well. Oh, that's just shredding beautifully. It's not dry. The challenge is if you overcook the uh, chicken breast, it does go dry. Okay, so our chicken's shredded now. So I'm actually just going to put this salad together. So I'm just going to put my cucumbers on. And I've just got one cucumber there. I've actually seeded that and sliced that. For a bit of colour, I'm using some capsicum. Lots of coriander. A bit of a problem if you're not a big coriander fan, but I like coriander, so lots of coriander. Some spring onions. Stick our chicken through the middle. Don't need to be too precious about it. you didn't want to poach your own chicken, you could use shredded barbecue chicken just as easily for this. So I've just garnished with a little bit more of the spring onions, some peanuts. I'm going to now use my dressing. So we're using the Bang Bang sauce, which is in the Father's Day pack. 
Maybe this is a great meal for him on Father's Day. I'm going to use about half a bottle of that. A few more of the spring onions. A few more of the nuts just to give it a little bit of crunch as we go. We like a little bit of chilli on top to signify that it's uh, spicy. And we're just going to finish off with some, again, for a little bit of crunch and a little bit of variety, some of those beautiful dried shallots. You can fry your own or like I've done, I've just bought them from the Chinese uh, supermarket. Now I'm going to pair this with one of the wines that's in that Father's Day pack, the El Capo Black Label Shiraz. El uh, Capo in Italian means the boss. And I think every father on Father's Day wants to be the boss, so that's a good one. Oh, beautiful colour there. So let's serve up some of this beautiful salad. Lots of those little goodies there. Lots of those beautiful sort of fresh flavours and tastes. Some of the coriander and bits and pieces. And some of that beautiful bang bang sauce. <laughs> so let's give this one a try. Let's just get a little bit of everything in my mouth. Oh, so fresh, so tasty. And that peanut satay sauce just to finish it off. You could also, if you wanted, you could use some of the poaching liquid just a little bit left just to make it more like a dressing, but wow, that wax a great punch. And what a beautiful, colourful dish to have on the table at any barbecue this summer. And happy Father's Day to all those wonderful fathers out there. Great one for Father's Day lunch. Cheers.